Hi there, it's Tank Girl, and today I have another unboxing for you. This is the Nokia N97 Mini. I just got this the other day. Um, it's actually interesting because the person who reviewed it before me is Phone Frenzy, Tony, who was on our podcast a couple of weeks ago. So, let's get right at it. Here's the box. It was the usual... Nokia.com and series and ta-da the N97 mini and the battery so let me take these out got the battery here and you got the N97 mini and so let me uh, get some close-ups for you guys so as you can see this is pretty much the same layout as the regular N97 you've got the volume up down rocker you have the camera double detent autofocus and snapshot button lanyard it's not much on this end uh, on this end here you have sorry for the noise we have the uh, lock key which slides and you have USB charger, it's a micro USB and on each end here you have speakers and then on the top here power button and headphone jack, standard headphone jack with video output um, of course on the back you have a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash and it's covered by a little piece of plastic but this one does not have a sliding cover like the N97 it's just bare, it's a little recessed and then you have the keyboard which is just pretty much the same layout as the N900 keyboard so it's a slightly different layout in my opinion better layout than the N97 original as you notice there's no d-pad and um, you get the, the essentially the up down left right keys are right here on this corner on the front you have the uh, standard Simeon key hang up and call buttons as well as uh, the speaker here, front-facing camera, light sensor, and face detection. So, um, what's also different compared to the regular N97 is that this has a metal battery cover in the back, so it's a lot fancier, and it feels, you know, that way. It, it, I don't know, um, I did write about this on my blog. If you go check, I did get a chance to have a bit of a hands-on with this and the, X, the upcoming X6 a while ago, and it really feels like a premium device. Whereas the N97 kind of feels a little plasticky. Anyway, it's also smaller. I unfortunately don't have an N97 here to show you to compare. But this is the same size screen as the 5800, the, um, the, the Express Music device. So it's just a little small. I think it's 3.2 instead of 3.5. So let's see what else is in the box. You have the usual set of Nokia accessories. This is a UK device, as you can see, it's got the UK plug, the monster, and a micro USB at the end. Uh, USB data cable right here, standard fare Nokia stuff, micro USB again. And here is um, a headset with um, some spare earbuds. It looks like it doesn't have separate remote with headset. The remote is in line on this device. Um, you see it there. It's, so that's kind of unusual. Most N-series devices actually have separate earphones that plug into a remote headset which has the microphone and some controls on it and then that plugs into the device. And then here we have, you know, the, o, the CD and all the documentation which is hard to remove so let me try to do this one at a time you've got the standard manual here this is a little OV sheet and then here we have another little OV sheet for navigation this time and another OV sheet for the store, the OV store where the apps are stored. And then finally, oh, there's two more things. Uh, it's, I guess, I don't know, a quick guide maybe? Because it looks like it could be a manual as well. Finally, we have the warranty card or whatever. Or, yeah, it's a warranty card. 
And that's it. That's the box. So we have an N97 Mini. We have the battery. We have the monstrous large UK charger. We have the headset, uh, the USB cable, and then we have a bunch of manuals. So that's it. Um, I have had an N97 original, which I no longer have right now, um, a review unit. I had it from June till about a month ago, so a long time, and I did manage to get it all the way up to the latest firmware revision with kinetic scrolling. This is very much similar software, so it should be interesting to see if there's any differences. Um, and I'll let you know, I'll, I'm um, going to probably use this for several weeks and put it through its paces like I do with all my devices. Uh, and yeah, it's um, it's interesting. It's definitely smaller, lighter, and feels a lot more premium than the N97 or re regular. But I do think that it's too bad you don't have the sliding lens cover, even though the original lens cover on the N97 would uh, scratch the lens. They fix that eventually. But anyway, that's about it for now. So take, check out my blog. It's Tanker Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. Um, and stay tuned. Cheers.